she said, it's time for you to have dialysis. And uh, I said, no, <laughs> I don't want it. My name is Gustavo Guzman, and I'm here to tell you about what it's like to be on dialysis. Read it. Uh, what led to you to be on dialysis? Well, uh, I had I had testicular cancer, and they they did aggressive uh, treatment, and that ended up uh, taking a hit on my kidneys. So they referred me to a nephrologist, and I started. Uh, their treatment, so that's why I ended up here. How often do you need treatments? Well, the treatments are three times a week, four, uh, four hours, four hours treatment. And that's, uh, you just go in there and they just, uh, they clean your blood. Tell us about your first time you went to the dialysis treatment. The doctor, they call me in they call me in and uh, she said, it's time for you to have dialysis. And uh, I said, no, <laughs> I don't want it. And then, yeah, they came in. I told them I didn't want it. And then she showed me, uh, I'm going to show you numbers. They showed me the numbers. And the thing went all the way down. And as they were saying no, then they brought, they brought in the psychologist. They started talking. And that's, that what made it. Yeah. I'm getting hot. Okay. Walk us through a psych, uh, dialysis treatment. Okay. When you get hooked up, the first thing you do uh, is is get weighted, you weight you, and then after that, uh, they they uh, the nurse starts cal calculating your your weight on the machine, and then after they do that, they after they do that, the technician hooks you up. I mean, it means they uh, insert insert the needles on your arm so they can start uh, doing the treatment. Right here is this one. They, they put both of them. One's the, uh, the in and then the other one's the out. When the, the blood goes in on one side and then the blood comes out on the other one. And that, it goes right to the machine. Here's the machine. But my machine is on this side, on the, on the left side. But this is another one right here. And after that, People say we're saying that uh, that you um, that you be uh, weak after dialysis. Uh, yeah, it happened a little bit, but uh, you find ways to to cope with that. Do you have to get treatments? Yes, for the rest of your life. Yes, and is there something that uh, that that you cannot avoid? Are you a candidate for a kidney transplant? Yes, I am. Um, I'm on my waiting list. I think it's uh, five to seven years for a waiting list. So I'm still on the early stages. I'm on my second year. I'm, uh, I'm dialysis. They call me a baby because I'm brand new on the, on the, on the, on the, on the dialysis. Uh, how have you experienced side effects from dialysis? Sometimes I get the dizzy spells, you know, you feel weak. But I noticed that when you get dizzy, when you get dizzy, it's because you don't, you don't, uh, you're not having a good diet. I noticed that because I was not having a good diet. I was getting dizzy uh, during the day and because it, I was not eating right. And never, uh, after I said it, started eating breakfast, that took care of it. Uh, I don't. I don't feel those dizzy spells. There's there a special diet that you have to follow to ensure dialysis is effective. Uh, yes, you just eat less, and 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 it's, and it's got to be a, you know less potassium, less uh, salt. It's potassium. Uh, you got to have a good diet, and they gave you they gave you all the stuff so you can follow that. And then 
uh, water, don't drink that much water. 32 ounces, you're not supposed to drink 32 ounces a day of water. And I tried not to drink that much water. After receiving treatments, are you able to work? Yes, my normal life, yes, yes I am. Uh, before uh, dialysis, I couldn't even walk. I couldn't walk for, like from, from the, the door to you, I couldn't even walk, I had to stop because I couldn't breathe. My my breath was now. <laughs> I do more than I do triple what I what before. I was I was in a, I wasn't that uh, active before. Like I'm now. I'm trying to do more. Do more than than you know. Trying to take care of this this body. What do you do when you? go on vacations. I went to Las Vegas and they have, they have a lot of dialysis centers over there. So all you gotta do is just call them and it's like you call them and you go over there, they have every, your, everything, your information. You just go there and go in and out. That's it and no, there's no hiccups. All you gotta do is just do, go to dialysis. There's no, there's no, you can still have fun. Don't go camping. <laughs> That's the funny. <laughs> Don't go camping. Go to the desert for a whole week. So you got to go get it. Is there anything you like, would you like to say to your kidneys? Yeah, get better. Uh, <laughs> I was always asked, uh, before I started dialysis, I was I asked the doctor, hey, could you, could you have a pill? So yeah, I have to go to dialysis. I will ask her always that. Could you have a pill? I still ask her that. Do you have a pill to, but there's no, there's no other way. You, once your kidneys go down, you never fix them. Uh, so you just got to go through what you have or, or what they gave you, what's better to them. But other than that, you got to baby them till, till you meet your maker. <laughs> How has UCSD Health helped you? Yeah. Uh, if you have no treatment, you should not be walking. Uh, if I had no transplant, I would have been gone already. So, uh, what can I say about that? I'm here talking to you guys. Yes, they has helped me a lot.